$1.6 billion. That's how much the state of Michigan is expected to get over the next 18 years to deal with a crisis. The money comes from the opioid settlement with drug manufacturers and distributors. It was recently announced that part of the money is coming here to Northern Michigan to help in recovery in a new way. Living substance free typically comes with an entire lifestyle change. As the chief program officer at Addiction Treatment Services, Christina Burfield knows well the challenges on so many possible fronts that folks in recovery can face. Sometimes those challenges include a change in where they call home. Living in a recovery home allows for them to build um, meaningful sober relationships that are a new concept to them. Um, it can be a transition from treatment and transitioning back into everyday life uh, while like mitigating the risk of relapse. In her role at ATS, she oversees their recovery homes. ATS runs six of those and has other options like this one, which for much of the past 30 years has served as a residential treatment option for those on the path. I would say that we could do with more uh, recovery housing in northern Michigan. Not enough to meet the demand. But that could change. The Michigan Department of Health and Human Services has partnered with the Michigan State Housing Development Authority on a new recovery housing investment program. $2.5 million of opioid settlement money will be available for certified and accredited facilities to purchase or lease homes for use as recovery housing. In a statement provided to Up North Live News, they explained, quote, for those seeking recovery, lifting the burden of finding and maintaining housing can reduce homelessness, increase opportunities, and give those seeking help the dignity they deserve to get their lives back on track, end quote. MSHDA says that investment could lead up to 60 more recovery homes being made available, helping up to 350 people. We have wait lists. We have people who don't have access to recovery housing, uh, in northern Michigan simply, simply because there aren't enough beds. So I do believe that that's a good start. 80% of the money will be awarded to the 24 counties of highest need based on data from the MDHHS. Here in northern Michigan, Chippewa, Manistee, and Wexford counties made that list. The state says it's about providing this type of affordable housing in places where it's desperately lacking. And those on the front lines of addiction say it's about doing all that can be done to support those choosing recovery. I think if we're not a part of the solution, um, that leaves way for individuals to feel like they don't matter in our community and they are in fact a part of our community. The application process is underway for state certified and accredited facilities. Again, these are for recovery homes, which are different than residential treatment facilities. Higher priority will be given to those 24 counties that have shown the greatest need.